All right, try it at 2.10. We're asked to find the x-intercept of f of x equals 1 fourth x minus 4. Lots of ways you can do this problem. The easiest way to do this problem is to do it algebraically. The x-intercept is where we cross the x-axis. Here's a picture of the x-axis right here. If a graph crosses the x-axis, so this isn't the graph of 2.10, this is a different graph. But if a graph crosses the x-axis, that point is very special in that the height of that point is 0. The y-coordinate of that point is 0. So if you want to figure out the x-intercept, all you got to figure out is where is the y-coordinate 0. Well, the y-coordinate is what the f of x is. It's what the output of the function is. So all I have to do is solve this equation right here. All I have to do is solve for what x will make the y equal to 0. And if I'm solving this equation right here, I want to isolate the x. So I would add 4 to both sides of the equation. And then I would multiply both sides of the equation by 4 and get x equals 16. You can check your answer if you want. You can take 16 and put it back into this function and make sure 0 comes out. Um, but I don't know. Essentially, you'd be recreating these steps right here. You can graph this thing and see that it crosses the x-axis the x at 16. Um, I don't know. I don't like getting my answers from graphs because I can't draw straight lines very well, but I suppose you could do that if you wanted. It's kind of a sanity check. You could sort of sketch the graph and see if it looks reasonable. If I were graphing this thing right here, I'd say it's y-intercept is negative 4, so I want to start right here. And then from there, I want to go up by 1. So up by 1, now I'm at negative 3. And over by 4, over to the right by 4. So right here. And so I have this dot and this dot, which is enough to completely describe my linear function. So I connect them with the straight line. Ooh, so hard to draw straight lines on a computer. Something like this. Where does this straight line cross the x-axis? I don't know, somewhere out here. Is it reasonable to think that this point out here further than 10 could be 16? Sure, it's reasonable. I think that's good enough. Uh, call this example done.